Okay, everybody, let's warm up the core. Let's start with some simple rotations. Plant yourself, don't move your hips, and just rotate. Good, rotate. Excellent. Really twist. Now, don't throw your back out. It's not about that. It's just about that twisting motion and resist against the twist a little bit. All right. Good. We're warming up the obliques right now. Okay, let's go into a squat wood chuck. Good. Down and to the side. Down to the side. We're not really trying to work the lower body. We're simply twisting and reaching. That twisting motion is what warms up the obliques and the abdominal muscles. All right. Okay, we're moving into an overhead squat. Hands behind your head, open up, and just little squats up. Little squats up, good. You get a little extra resistance by putting your hands up behind your head. That's really engaging these lower abdominal muscles. I can already feel it. We're warming them up. All right. How you doing back there? Feeling warm? All right. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, let's work the core. Down on the mat, get right into the crunches. Okay, so kind of dig your heels in, shoulder width apart, relax your back, press it actually into your pad, and little crunches up, down, up, down. The key is not speed here, it's form. So you wanna press that lower back against the pad, exhale as you come up, up, down. Don't forget the breathing, so key. Nice, let me check form. Form is key. Now, Jesse is giving himself a little extra resistance by putting some weight behind his head. Notice how he's also pressing his low back against the pad. You don't wanna have an overarch, you wanna press your low back against the pad. Elbows back. Renessa, you're doing these perfectly. I want you to pretend that an invisible string is pulling you up at the chin, pulling you straight up. You wanna keep that chest open. Nice job, Rebecca Augustina, great. All right, keep that upper body going. Good, up, down. And breathe, good. We're almost there, stay with me. Stay with me, now let's work the lower abdominals by going into the clamps. Put the soles of your feet together, come up in a crunch, touching elbow to knee, and down, tap on the mat. Up, down, good, up, down. Really crunch it out. I love these, I can do these all day long. <laughs> How about you guys? Yeah. yeah, I can feel that enthusiasm, yes. All right, squeeze. Now, Renessa has modified it. She's coming up in a crunch, but she's not moving her lower body, so she's not engaging as much. If you can't do a regular clam at home, modify it like Renessa. Jesse again is doing his progression by giving that extra weight. Good job, Jesse. To make it harder, do what Augustina is doing and really touch the elbow to the knee. This really forms up beautiful lower abdominals that are so hard to get. Good. Squeeze. Squeeze. Nice. Keep with me. We're almost there. All right. Let's do 60 seconds. Plank position, one of my favorites. Looks so easy, yet it's so hard. You want to go ahead into a modified plank. Shoulders over the elbows, and like a plank of wood, keep your back tight, straight, and go to that special place for this minute. You're gonna start feeling them right here, right on the obliques. Very effective, and every trainer at Sky Sport does this one. Good, let's check on form. Now, Renessa has modified her plank by dropping to her knees. That's okay, because she's still engaging her muscles right here, and that's the focus. So if you can't do a regular plank, do it this way. Hey, Jesse. Show me more intense version. Do the rocking plank. Good, perfect. Now, Jesse is incorporating his shoulders. He's using his back. You can see the muscles. And he's got his obliques very tight. Great. Good job, nice. Here's the deal. If you have to stop on that plank position, just come up and then back down. All right. Good job on the plank. Let's get into the cardio. So here's what we're gonna do. Mountain climbers, all right? Get started, 30 seconds, and up. Good. 
One, two, one, two, one, two. This is cardiovascular for a reason. Your heart rate gets up. Every one of us does this with our clients at the gym. Stay tight, tight, tight. Renessa has modified it. She's not moving her toes from the ground, but she is still keeping those knees moving. That's the point. Good. All right, let's go into our rotation, our twist. So up in a plank position and twist it out, go. Nice. Really give it that twist. We got 30 seconds on this, so pace yourself. One, two, one. All right. Good job. The key is to really get that, ah, uh, that twist, that powerful twist right there. Nice. Okay, everybody. Great job. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's get down and do our bicycles. This is a great overall core workout. Hands behind your head. On your back, legs up, and you just rotate. And you put your elbow to your knee, and then straighten the opposite leg. So the key is to straighten. So one, two, one, two. Again, this is not about speed, it's about form. Okay, Renessa, how you doing over here? Yeah, now, Renessa's modified them. This is for you at home. If you can't do a full bicycle, then all you have to do is a version of it. That is okay, as long as you're performing that movement. All right, you guys look great. And to give it that little extra, I like to move the outside of my knee and really crunch it out. Good job. All right, it's gonna get a little harder, a little harder here. We're going. All right, let's go ahead and do figure eights. This is a little more challenging. We're really twisting and using the obliques now. So figure eight. So it's like doing a pass through. You do a little clap through. I use weight usually, and you can do that for intensity. Use your weight and pass it through your legs. That's fine. Now, if you need to modify it, you do exactly what Renessa is doing. She's still got chest out. Shoulders back, she's leaning back at an angle, so she's engaging those abdominal muscles still. But she's just keeping her feet tapping on the ground. Good job, nice, so you're reaching over. That forces you to twist. Nice, Rebecca, just keep that chest out. All right, how are we doing there? Good, nice, I'm starting to feel it, I don't know about you. I'm feeling these, good. All right, here we go. We're almost there, stay with me. Stay with me, keep clapping, you got it, you got it. All right, let's go into a side plank position. Now, just like the other plank, you wanna get up on your side and lock it in. We're gonna do 60 seconds, 30 on one side, 30 on the other. So I want you to rotate and come up, straight to the sky, rotate, come up. Good, keeping your back straight and off that mat, okay? How are we doing over here? Okay. Renessa's modified it, and this is perfectly fine. She's bent her knee, so she's definitely getting a little less of a workout. Okay. Okay, switch sides, everybody. On the other side. Okay, down, lock it out, hand behind your head, and twist up. Twist up, good. Nice. And straight up to the ceiling on that elbow. Okay? How are you, how are you feeling back there? You're awfully quiet. You're awfully quiet back there. <laughs> Where's my team? Good. This is challenging, no doubt about it. All right, good job. Let's get into the cardio portion. We're gonna do some torso twists. Y'all ready? All right, let's do it. So just dig in. All I want you to do is twist. Twist, twist, good. There you go, perfect. You really wanna get that twisting motion, but here's the key. Chest out, shoulders back as much as possible. And I'm at about a 45 degree angle. Good, touch the ground if you can. Touch the ground if you can. So one, two, one, two. There you go, you got it. All right, keep going at home. Keep going. Oh, I feel these. I'm totally burning, aren't you guys burning? Good. Keep with my count, one, two. One, two, good, keep it up. Woo, 60 seconds of those are hard. All right, yeah, tap it, tap it up. Oh boy, and now I think you need an overhead stretch. So just lean back and relax. Really stretch it out. Legs out, arms out, and reach. Oh, that was a great job. Okay, stretch it out, 
and let's get right into our 60 second straight leg taps. Legs up and tap. One, two, one, two, good. One, two. The key is to keep the shoulders off that mat as high as you can. Really reach for the toes, touch them. The higher the better. Okay, let me take a look around. All right, Renessa has modified this by bending your knees a little more and she's just reaching straight up to the ceiling. Good job. All right. Jesse's making this a little harder on himself. So the progression is he's got his legs out and you're reaching. Go. Nice, nice. Much more difficult. Everybody looks good. Okay, we're almost there. Stay with it, stay with it. All right, let's move right into the scissors. Support your lower back, hands underneath your butt. Lift your legs about, oh, three inches off the mat and open and shut, open and shut. Nice and slow. One, open, two, open, three, open, good. The key is not speed here. It's really feeling that muscle, that movement. All right, how we doing, Renessa? Good, let's check you out. Okay, Renessa has modified this movement by slightly build, bending her knees. Good. So one, two, one, two. How you doing, Jess? Looks good. All right, keeping your head on the ground. Great, keep it up. Keep that movement up, don't you stop. You're almost there, almost there. Good, close, open, good, nice. Ah, keep with me. All right, let's move on to penguin heel taps. So get into that crunch position, shoulder width apart, but I want you to rotate side to side and tap, 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 tap. That twisting motion is what we're looking for. Oh, I already feel it. Do you feel it? Tap, tap, tap. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay, Renessa has modified it. She's supporting her neck, and that's okay to do as long as you keep that twisting motion going. She slowed it down a little bit for herself, too. Good. Nice, Jess. And tap, 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 tap to stay with it. If you really need to, open up the legs a little bit more and give yourself a bit of a cheat. So open up. The more you open, the closer the heels are, okay? There's a little cheat for you, but keep the rotation moving. Good. Tap, tap, tap. We're almost there with the end of this. Woo! All right, let's get our cardio in. We're gonna do a half burpee, so up on your mat, and here's what I want you to do. Just bring the legs in, out, in, out, in, out. We don't wanna overexert. That constant motion is enough for the cardiovascular core, okay? Good, Renessa's modified it. She's bringing one leg in at a time, and that's okay as long as you keep the movement going. And she's still getting that good crunch in by bringing that knee in. Good. In, out, in, out. Looks good. In, out, good. Really engage. Engage the core. Good. In, out, in, out. Nice. And good job. Keep it up, keep it up. Keep it up, folks. You're doing great out there. Doing great. Now, let's go into it. We're gonna do our next segment, upper ab work with a V-sit extend and flex. So flip it over and crunch in tight and extend. V, extend. One, out, in, out, good. I like to keep my shoulders back and my chest out. That's perfect form, so go ahead and open it up. If you need to, do what Renessa is doing. She's actually using her hands for balance and she's just bringing her knees in, and she's tapping too. Knees in, tap, knees in, tap. Good job, Renessa. How you doing? If you feel like you need that little bit of extra, pick up your weight. Good, just give me a couple, Jess, because this is difficult stuff. This is the more advanced version, so pick up that weight. Good job. Jessie, you can put it down. Just keep it moving, even if you modify it like Renessa, just keep it moving, in, out, in, out, all right. Let's move on, we're gonna go into a lower body rotation, side rolls, so lie down on your mat, and all I want you to do 
hands out flat and just roll to the side. Roll, roll, roll. Good, roll, roll. Try to keep your hips, your knees, everything in a 90 degree angle. So roll, roll. Good, roll, roll. Excellent. These are challenging because you really need to try to plant your low back on that mat. All right, let's take a look. The key is to go down as far as you can. Renessa, how are you doing here? Great. You feeling it? This really works so obliques. She's not rolling as far down, but you're doing fantastic and your knees are in. So she's got her knees in to make it a little easier. Jesse has chosen to do the advanced version, which is a lot more intense by keeping his legs almost straight. This is very difficult. This is what you want to work up to. Good job, Jess. Okay, let's get right into the plank variation. You ready? Up into a plank position. We're gonna do this for 60 seconds, so hold it. And ready? Up, down, up. I like to make a little noise when I do this. <laughs> Just so I feel like I'm doing something, you know? Good, up, down. All right, excellent. You wanna keep that movement going. It's a little bit more advanced, but try to get up as high as you can. And if you can't do it, do what Renessa's doing and modify it. There's a modification for each one of these exercises, and she's doing this modification perfectly. She's still moving the upper body, she's still engaging the abs, but she's dropped her knees to make it a little easier. You guys look great. Great, good job, Renessa. Good job at home, keep it going though. Keep it going. Keep it going, good. Up, down, good. All right, let's move on. Let's get into our cardio routine. Let's get into some fast bicycles. So this time, lean back and bring the bicycle in and hit it. One, two, one, two, one, two. Toes pointed to the ceiling. Keep those knees, bring them in tight and extend, tight and extend. One, two, one, two, one, two. Good, this is about speed now. This is about getting your heart rate way up. Are you feeling it? My hip flexors are on fire. That's that region right here. Lower abs, hip flexors. It's that beautiful line right here that we all want. Right? One, two, one, two. Good job. We got a few more of these. So let's do it. We're almost there though. You're getting close to the end. Whew, breathe, breathe. Renessa's modified it because she's tapping. She's tapping out. Good. How you doing, Jess? Yep. All right, Jess is working up sweat. He's loving me right now, as I'm sure you all are loving me. Good, excellent. Okay, great job on the core work. Let's go ahead and stretch it out. Let's stretch our core. All right, stand up. Good job, you guys, and good job, you guys. That's amazing. Woo, I'm feeling it, I am fatigued. Okay, ready, standing, open legs, and just reach down and get into a position where you open up, force your legs open with your elbows. Kind of sit. Doesn't look pretty, but it feels good, right? Good, so just really open up your legs. Nice. And breathe. Again, light at the end of the tunnel here. Relax and open it up. Okay, shake it out. Good, and just reach down. This is my favorite. I still think this is the most effective. And let your head just lower down and relax your upper body. Loosen it up. Knees slightly bent, and relax. Okay, pull to one side. Knees slightly bent still. I like to reach around, I'm pretty flexible here, so I go ahead and reach around my ankle. And breathe. Other side. And breathe. All right, come up. All right, let's go into the butterfly stretch. Now, pull your feet in, open the chest up, and just reach down, pulling yourself down into your heels. Ah, oh, feel that, you feel that? That's all about glute, hip flexors, that's everything, actually. Now, if you need to, go ahead and just pull your feet out, if you're not as flexible, and pull down. Okay, my favorite's coming right up. Lower back stretch. I always crack on this one. Down, flat, Hand down and just, ah, oh, let your knee come over. If you crack, you crack, just don't force it. Okay, other side, knee over. Your shoulder can come off the ground, that's fine. 
Okay, great last stretch. All right, you guys. That was a rockin' ab routine. You're gonna get that six pack in no time with this routine. Good job at home and great job trainers. All right.